Welcome back to Selena Thinking Out Loud. I hope you are safe and well. Today we're going to be reviewing the Wagner Control Stainer. This is their 350 model. Um, and this is supposed to be five times faster than brushing. Um, as you can see there, more control, less mess, five minute cleanup, which is great if you, you know, you just wanna get things done. And then they're supposed to be good for large decks wood siding. I'm gonna be using this today with some stain for the fence panels right here that I put together. I'll leave the comment, I mean, in the description, I'll leave how I put those together just in case you wanna do that. Uh, but let's jump in the box and see what they gave. Out of the box, you can see that this sprayer is very versatile. You can, you know, use it to spray stairs. Looks like they're doing the seam of a window there. The fence panels you see there, garage door. If you have some furniture you want to stain and even you know room walls in the rooms of your house immediately when i open the box i get the stop sign it says test spray with water which i will do because i've never used a sprayer um, before and then they say thank you for your purchase um, they're here to help you they have a quick start guide um, you can connect with Wagner on the internet or call toll free if you have any questions and they're also on youtube twitter as well and on their website all right first thing here is the wagner they have a register your wagner sprayer online and get a free one year extended warranty so that's pretty good i don't know do you register your uh tools and everything online with the company i normally do um but let me know in the in the comments below if you do that and then here is the actual oh spray poster so i can spray with water and test out and try my luck so that i will not waste any of my a staining product I can practice so that's cool and they tell you how to spray I guess many different uh, you know situations so I look forward to popping through that and then what comes in here is the actual manual owner's manual for the sprayer because we have to put it together There's only two parts to this here's the initial motor part that you plug in this is one that you do need to plug into the wall or, you know, an um, extension cord. Here's the on and off switch here. And then it looks like on the back here is where I actually put in the second piece in here. Yeah, it goes in here and it has many different um, spray levels, it looks like here. They said start with the lower gauge first level first so that smooth flow and your you know, your product won't drip all over the place but as you get comfortable and you want a more quicker uh, faster coverage you can turn the dial up more with this as you can see okay and you'll just line it up with that line there so you know which number which level you're on right there up here holds 45 fluid ounces if you see that there that is equivalent to 1300 milliliters um, but this tells you how wide the area you want to cover while you're spraying I just removed the sticker that was on the top of here and just pulled off the front of the uh, control motor here and they have an air filter it's a really thin piece of material they said just make sure it's you inspect that before you use it every time and you never want to use this without one because the dirt can get into the system and then it'll go into your product so you don't want that um, and clogging up everything so never use it without an air filter but I have one it looks clean so we're ready Inside to go. Inside the cup here they had some um, Vaseline lubricating grease and a cleaning brush um, from what they're saying here they saying you know clean the air vent in the suction tube with a soft bristle brush so this little area up in here when you're cleaning it out you can use that soft bristle brush lubricating grease is for that o-ring that you see right there it's going all the way around as you can see they already have grease so they're saying when you wash it with the soap and water you want to lubricate that I know that this is clicked in properly into the main unit because it should snap in place right here over this groove took me a minute to get it in here right to figure it out but after I saw the latch on the inside here and how you have to just rotate it uh, clockwise it'll catch in that little pocket of groove here which will give you the enough space to get it over here to pop it over this latch here and it'll snap in place 
Also, I did read that depending on how you want to spray, you can unscrew this and have the straw face this way if you're spraying downward because you know you want the product to be down this way so it can grab it at all times. If you're spraying up high, then you wanna turn this to the back way, okay? So that this piece is facing this way instead. Okay, I just laid out the practice page and it seems here that if you wanna make a vertical spray, which I'll practice that with water, that your dial should be straight up and down. So let me get the dial so I can show you. So to make a vertical, it should be that way so that you can go straight up and down. So we can follow the diagram here and go straight up and down. They said, never use your wrist, never turn your wrist like this. It should always be a steady flow. And then when we wanna go horizontally, you just turn this yellow dial here horizontally and then you go horizontal so it's you can't get it mixed up <laughs> and then you would just spray with a steady hand going all the way across and they give you a stopping point when to release the trigger so that the rest of the product can finish for itself I had to get creative because it's very windy today and I'm supposed to get my brackets in the mail tomorrow to hopefully finally put up these fence panels. So I'm going to be staining one side of them in the garage, laying one on top of the other. I'm not going to be staining the two by fours running through each panel. So I'm just gonna stain this side because I can lay each of them on top of each other without touching the actual wood that's going to be stained today and then after that let that dry tomorrow put it up and then i'll be able to do the smooth side of the fence panels here and they'll be all set and ready to go first panel I did realize some things the trigger you only have to press it down really nice and easy not hard because I was really holding it so tight maybe because I'm new to it but once I got the hang of and I realized it's really spraying out pretty smooth and just a light touch on the trigger and you'll get the response you're looking for as far as the amount of product I did realize that I had too much product coming out of the sprayer at once so I did turn it down from seven to six at number one, it was just too, too, too little. And the spout here is perfect for, like the narrow one is perfect for this part of the uh, fence panel because you're just um, working in a narrow area. Now, when I got here, I decided to use the larger spout area right there, okay, sprayer. And so I'm gonna turn it down to about a three or a four. Hopefully that'll give me just enough product of the stain so it'll be evenly distributed and I don't feel like I have little areas of patchy uh, too much stain but I've been just brushing it and distributing it anyway but I just want to get it right the first time and continue to put the, the actual sprayer where I feel is best to get even coverage uh, for the rest of my panel. Alright guys I just finished all of the panels on this side and I'm going to and I just removed the front portion that I'm gonna put in soap and water. I did see that the stain did blow up in here. So I'll figure out how to clean that out um, when I look at the instructions. I did notice that. Um, but here's the thing afterwards is all in place. And as you can see, I used all the stain that I poured in there. I tried to get every nook and cranny of that stain out of there and I finished with the brush. So I have to say, I really, really like this Wagner sprayer. It's on point. I will be using it a very, very, I mean, more and more in the future because I'll have to restain the fence again in the future. So this is a great product. I'll use it for painting rooms and all that too. It's easy to use. It's convenient, um, just gets you a long extension cord 
and you're on your way. The only con I have is I wish that Wagner would have put in another air filter because it's such a thin, simple part that um, I wish they would have added one, um, given us another one so that we can pop it right in after we finish our first project. Um, because I looked online and my local hardware store did not have, an, have it at all. So I'm gonna have to order it from Wagner's website, which is gonna take time. So that can delay me on a project. You can find it at your local hardware stores, online and all that good stuff. So until the next video, have a blessed one and you be safe. Bye-bye.